Once again, we say good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Coppin State University and Physical Education Complex for today's Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference game between the Morgan State University Bears and your Coppin State University Eagles. And now, here are your starting lineups. First, for the visiting Bears of Morgan State University. At forward, 6'7", and a junior from Detroit, Michigan, number 32, David Syfax, Jr. At guard, 6'5", and a junior from Chester, Pennsylvania, number zero, Stanley Davis, Jr. At guard, 6'4", and a sophomore from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, number one, LaPree McCray Pace. At guard, 5'11", and a senior from Chicago, Illinois, number two, Martez Cameron. And at guard, 6'1", and a freshman from Bladensburg, Maryland, number five, Sherwin Devonish Prince. Morgan State assistant coaches are Brian Ellaby, Hans Desir, and former Coppin State University great Larry Stewart. The head coach of the Morgan State University Bears is Todd Bozeman. This is the one for real. Uh, we work hard every day. Everything just coming together. So I, I got faith in this life. I'm confident that we're going to have a great year this year. We got to lock in. That's something you can't land on. I'm excited because of our effort. Just keep competing. Uh, All right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, one time on three, family on six. One, two, three, one time. Four, five, six, eight. And now, the starting lineup for your Coppin State University Eagles. At forward, six, seven, and a senior from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Number one, Chad Andrews Fulta. At the other forward, 6'8", yeah. oh. and a senior from Kennesaw, Georgia, number five, Cedric Council, Jr. At guard, 6'4", and a sophomore from Newport News, Virginia, number two, Taekwon Drummond. At guard, 6'2", and a sophomore from Bowie, Maryland, number 13, Dewan Clayton. And a guard, 6'6", six, six, and a senior from Willingboro, New Jersey, number 22, Lamar Morgan. Eagles Director of Basketball Operations is Joey Joseph Gripper. The assistant coach is Charles Akamagu. The associate coach is John Oslander. And the head coach of the Eagles is Juan Dixon. That court shot of the PEC, Todd Barthy with you here in the Coppin State Sports Network and the MEAC Digital Network getting set for the Battle of Baltimore between Coppin State and Morgan State. Women's action went to Morgan State 74-57. For the men, this will be the 90th meeting. Coppin has a commanding 57-32 advantage in this series. Morgan in the traveling black uniform. Coppin. In the golds trimmed. In blue. Council in the jump circle with Syfax Jr. Great look inside the PEC. And ready to jump it up. Here at the PEC. Cedric Council Jr. controls that opening tip. Andrews Fulton hands it off to Clayton out of Andrews Fulton. And now the shot clock. We had the same issue in the women's game. It is stuck on 30 seconds. 
They'll run it down to 23. Lamar Morgan to inbound. Now for Andrews Fulton, hands it back to Morgan. Swings it high right to Drummond, right to the scorer's table, and splash down. There went a cup that had a lid, but no longer. Into the forecourt now, Cameron after the cop and turnover. Handed off to Syfax Jr. Now hit of the key. McCray pace. Down to the doorstep. Turns around with a right hand. Can't get it to drop. And the rebound, Lamar Morgan. Now for Dewan Clayton. Shot clock was at 12. Reset at the 30 again. Now to 28. Morgan to inbound. He gets it into Clayton. Now Dewan across the time stripe. Once again to the forecourt. Ball screen hand off. Now to Morgan. Lobs it off to Andrews Fulton. Ball screen hand off to Drummond. Tay steps left. Once that 15 footer and got it. Coppin's got an early 2 0 lead. On a quick run out, they'll kick it to the corner. Syfax Jr. going strong, and Andrews Fulton scored off the glass and good. Even at two in the Battle of Baltimore. 18.55 and counting opening half. Clayton turning left of the lane, got cut off. That Andrews Fulton, left wing behind the arc, deflected on the catch, now Drummond. High left, that Andrews Fulton. Handled off to Clayton. Clayton high left, now on the bounce with a right. Swings it left corner, out of bounds. Fulton got pinned on that far block. Couldn't get out to the corner. Cameron the handle, now to the forecourt. Left corner kick out, Syfax Jr. Swing it off between the rings, now for Davis Jr. Far side right, now to McCray Pace. That was intended for Cameron near left corner and fired out of bounds. Back to Coppin, even at two, 18-22 to go in the half. Clayton coming across the time stripe, out of the forecourt. Coming left to the Andrews Fulton screen, left corner Drummond. Drummond spins right to left, lost it on the way up, stripped and stolen by Davis Jr. Outlet up the right side to the Bladesburg Maryland freshman, Devonish Prince, and a traveling violation against Morgan State. Comes at 17.59 to go in the opening half. Even at two, Clayton the handle. Hands it off high right to Drummond. Drummond on the bounce now right side to Clayton. Clayton stepped back from 15, missed everything. Tipped away by Syfax Jr. on the rebound. Up the right side, Devinish Prince out of that right corner. Reversing off to the right side. Davis Jr. on the catch, he'll fire up a three, back of the rim, no. Council the rebound. Quick outlet now to Morgan. Morgan on the run out, fires up a three, right wing, right of the rim, no. Set an offensive rebound, fights it up with the right hand, rim it off. Rebound Syfax Jr. Out of the forecourt, Cameron's got the handle, turns right of the lane, fires from 10, side of the window, no, off the top of the head of Andrews Fulton, and run down by McCray Pace. Bounce it off high right, Syfax Jr. Now for McCray Pace, turns right of the lane, trying to duck in, kicks it out right side, and a three out of the hand of Syfax Jr. comes long and left to Drummond. On the rebound now for Clayton. Out of the forecourt, high right. Dump it down to Andrews Fulton. Draws a double team, swings it ahead of the key. Drummond fires it far left, now to Morgan. Morgan now to Council Jr., left side. Reverse it off to Drummond, head of the key. 12 to shoot. Tay wants a three, it's on the way, good. 5-2, Coppin. Tay's got the hot hand early. Floater in the lane, rim and good. Devinish Prince. 
by four, Coppin by one. Drummond now head of the key. Andrews Fulton. High left to Clayton. Clayton coming right, got to the head of the key. Top side right to Drummond. Drummond on the bounce. Left to the Andrews Fulton screen. Four to shoot. Gallops back to his right with a Euro step. Rim it off. Morgan on offensive rebound. That was swatted. Blocked away by Davis Jr. McCray Price on the run. Ran into Drummond in traffic. Foul is on the floor as the basket went off the glass and good. Drummond with the foul. That's his first. It brings us to the first timeout of the game. 15.43 to go in the first half. Coppin leads Morgan 5-4 in the Coppin State Sports Network and the MEAC Digital Network. Fans, you can visit CommonGear.com to get your CSU apparel. Currently, it's free shipping with any purchase of $50 or more until February 11th. CommonGear.com, it's where the home team shops. 15.43 to go in the opening half. A 5-4 cop and lead. Both teams have started the game. Two of six from the field. Neither team has attempted a free throw. And both teams 0 for 1 from three. Changes for both teams out of that timeout. We'll just give them to you in real time. Devinish Prince now with it head of the key. Defended by Oslander. Launches the jumper. Rim and off. Rebound. Brandon Medley Bacon. Clayton runs in the lane. Tried to fight it up. It got stolen back. Devinish Prince up the left side. Running strong is Miller. He checked in out of that media timeout. Throws it up short. Andrews Fulton the rebound, bounce it off now for Clayton. He's defended by Cameron, now hands it off to Morgan in the forecourt. Andrews Fulton hands it back to Morgan, thinking about a three from behind the screen. Takes it right of the lane, goes in strong, and got tied up. And the dual possession gives it back to Morgan State. Jordan Little, the red shoot, excuse me, red shirt junior, has also checked in for Morgan State. Kevin is Prince on the catch, left side behind the arc, goes opposite the Cypax Jr. screen, puts it on the way from 15, rim it off. Tipped out to Clayton. Clayton trying to run out, and Cameron fouled him. That's his first. Kevin is Prince checks out. Tyson Rawls checks in out of... Castle, Delaware. Coppin's gone seven deep in the first five plus. Morgan's gone eight deep. 5-4, Coppin the lead. Clayton holding above his head. Now on the bounce, right side. Now for Morgan. He wants a three. It's on the way good as he falls to the floor. Morgan's first three of the game makes it an 8-4, Coppin lead. Cypax Jr. taking Chad Andrews Fulton to the rack. Glass rim, no, but a whistle and a foul. Hey, 
Brendan Midley Bacon picks up the foul. That's his first. That brings Justin Steers near the scorer's table. Now back to the comp and bench. However, the discussion continues. Here comes Justin Steers. Free throw line, Syfax Jr. cannot get it to drop. Miller checks out. Antonio Gillespie Jr. out of Memphis, Tennessee checks in for Morgan State. Second Syfax attempt, forthcoming. Rim and in. Syfax Jr. now with three, makes it 8 5 Coppin, 14 15 to go. In the opening half, Morgan on the bounce, shovels it back down to Steers. Steers feeds Medley Bacon, backs in, and he's called for an offensive foul as he backed in on Martez Cameron, who's giving up nearly a foot. Cedric Council Jr. replaces the seven foot freshman. Inbound to the far end of the floor. Little gave it up to Cameron. Cameron on the bounce. Left side behind the arc. Gave it up now for Rawls. Kick it out right corner. And back to Rawls. Top side, left side, Fax Jr. Jump stop left of the lane. Fights it up. Partially blocked by Steers. Loose ball out to Rawls. Near side left from our broadcast vantage point. Ball screen handoff Cameron. Gave it up. Now for Gillespie Jr. Kick out right corner. Syfax stepping left. Wants a jumper. Rim it off. Oslander with the rebound. Now coming back in transition. Crossover dribble around the council screen. Said with the feed and finish and one. Syfax Jr. the foul. His first 10-5. Coppin with a free throw coming. Evan Williams replaces Dewan Clayton, who will exit scoreless. And no fouls at 13.25 remaining, first half. Free throws good. Cedric Council Jr. with the and one makes it 11 5. Coppin. Syfax Jr. checks out. Stanley Davis Jr. is back on for the Bears. Under head coach. Ty uh, Bozeman coming in 8-13 overall, 3-5 in the MEAC. And really the 3-5 is the only thing that matters right now, closing out the regular season. Left side, Cameron drew a double team and lost it off his shoot top out of bounds. Council to inbound, Williams comes back to get the ball, uses the council screen. Out of the forecourt, set another screen. Ibn going left, steps into a head of the key three, right of the rim, no good. A sea of black jerseys go to the glass. Little with the rebound. Near side left, Davis Jr. on the bounce. Backs it out, head of the key. Now for Rawls. Kick out left corner. The three is on the way out of that corner, and good. Stanley Davis Jr. Cuts the comp and lead to 11-8. 12.45 to go in the half. Williams, the ball screen hand off that Oslander. Taking it left. Now for Morgan. Morgan spins right. Hands it off on the ball screen now for Williams. Now to Council Jr. 10 to shoot. Kick out right corner to Steers. Step into his left with eight. Down to seven. Ball fake and a head fake. He got Davis to foul him. That's his first. Devinish Prince checking back in, replacing Cameron at the 12-26 mark of the opening half.
Lob comes in to Council Jr. Backs it out now, headed to Keita Oslander. Oslander turning left, got caught in traffic, threw it out of bounds, intended for Morgan. He was trying to find him on a baseline cut going left to right. Inbound comes to Devinish Prince quickly into the four court. Three ball on the way. Good out of the left corner. Gillespie Jr.'s first field goal knocks us for the second time, this time at 11. 12.08 to go. First half. Williams on a reversal. Cedric Council Jr. for a three, and it's good. Ced's got six. Coppin pulls ahead. 14-11. Devinish Prince to the doorstep. In traffic with a fadeaway. Rim no on the attempt by Little, and they say he traveled. That brings us to a timeout on the floor. It comes at 11.50 remaining in the opening half. Coppin leads Morgan 14-11 in the battle for Baltimore on the Coppin State and MEAC Digital Network. Fans, you can travel in confidence and enjoy the comfort of spacious studio accommodations at the Town Place Suites, Baltimore, BWI Airport, less than 10 miles from downtown Baltimore. Your home away from home is waiting for you. That's the Town Place Suites, Baltimore, BWI Airport, the official airport hotel of Compton State Athletics. Courtside at the PEC, got a great one going to the Battle of Baltimore, round one, 14-11. Coppin leading Morgan State. Rebound margin to Coppin, 9-5. Turnover, 7-4 Coppin. Of course, Coach Juan Dixon wants that cleaned up immediately. Williams the handle, left wing behind the arc. Now to Morgan, step left three is on the way. Came up short, knocked out of bounds. Last touched, I believe, by Morgan State. Drummond and Clayton checking back in. Eleven thirty-nine to go in the half. Shot clock to twenty. Hey, Kent! Hey, give yourself room, one. We still got five to go. Officials double checking the shot clock. I do believe. And that's the conversation you can see right now. going on at the time stripe at the scorer's table. Shot clock has had issues all day today. Now it is going to stand at 20 seconds. Williams to inbound. Now for Clayton. Far side of the lane. Clayton trying to back his way in. Got shut off. Now hands it off to Steers. Going strong. Baseline left. Glass and good. Justin Steers. 16-11. Coppin. 11-20 to go in the opening half. Running to the rack strong is Devinish Prince. And a whistle and a foul. And I believe he is down along the baseline. Fallon Oslander, that's his first, and indeed, Devinish Prince yet to come back up from the contact on the baseline. Here comes the training staff from Morgan State. Yeah. 
So fans believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything, just do it. Nike is the official footwear provider of the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. And Jostin's pride, your achievements. Jostin's a proud sponsor of the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference as well. And it appears Devonish Prince now back to a standing position along the baseline, and he is going to exit the game. Shaken up on the last play. Or will they allow him to stay and attempt free throws? They will not, so a change will be made. Cameron back at the scorer's table is now Devin is Prince visibly limping. Back to the Morgan State bench. Yeah, the official said that Devin is Prince is exiting the game. So they asked Coach Dixon. He gets to pick anybody he wants that's on the floor to shoot. He immediately went to the card and said, I want 32. That's Ifax Jr. He's not currently in the game. He goes, okay, let two shoot. That's Martez Cameron. First one's on the way. Rim, glass, good. Makes it 16-12, Coppin. Second win, good. Cameron got them both. I don't think that's what he had in mind at all. Clayton on the bounce out. Oslander wants a three. Lift the rim and off. Steers went over the top, tried to ram it home. He's called for the over the back foul. That's his first. Andrews Fulton coming to get Cedric Council Jr. At 11.08 remaining in the opening half, 16-13, Coppin State leads Morgan State. Good thing the rims are insured because Steers is testing them all the time. Skip near side left, Davis Jr. surveys the situation. Gave it up baseline left, Cameron had it stripped and stolen. Here comes Oslander on the run out. Turns running the lane, going strong to the glass, left it short. Tipped free, and then Drummond throws it over the top of the backboard and out of bounds. Yeah, the officials are going to get together. It was deflected. That's why it went over the top. Ten forty-eight to go in the half. 16-13, Cop in the lead. Clayton the inbound, 28 on that shot clock. He looks, looks, bouncing in Andrews Fulton, far corner. Deflected away and out of bounds. Last touch by McCray Pace. <laughs> Drummond now to inbound from the sideline. Now for Clayton, high left. Clayton on the bounce, backs his way in, kick it out to the corner. Three on the way, back of the rim, no out of the hand of Drummond. Drummond got it back as Fulton kept it alive. It's deflected out of bounds. Last touch by Coppin State. Morgan a chance to tie with a three. 10.25 to go in the half. Kick out left corner, Davis Jr. He wants a three, rim, glass, and off. Rebound, Oslander, poked away from behind and stolen by Rawls. Loose ball on the floor. Morgan State dives on it. That's Rawls, but he's on the sideline, out of bounds. Good to see Devonish Prince back in after being shaken up earlier in this half. Miller's back in as well for Morgan State. Clayton the handle, defended by Cameron. And 
Head of the key, Clayton on the bounce, going left, rim, it trickles off. Andrews Fulton tried to tip it home, but he mistimed his jump, and then in transition, Miller is bumped from behind and fouled. Dewan Clayton, the foul, that's his first. Comes at 9.58 to go in the opening half with Coppin in front, 16-13. McCray pace now in Cameron into the forecourt. Back to the far side right, Rawls the handle, coming back to his left. 18 to shoot. Rawls hands it off, run to the lane, going strong was Miller, swatted away. Andrews Fulton with it now to Clayton. Gave it back to Andrews Fulton. Free throw line face up. Back of the rim and off. Rebound to Miller. He'll run it back. Now head of the key. Hands it off to Cameron. Cameron going right. Hands it back to Rawls. Now back to Miller. Back to Rawls. Penetration of the free throw line. Hands it off to Miller. Jump stop in the lane. Turns right. Glass and good. Topping by one. 16-15. Closing in on 9-10 to go in the half. Clayton hands it off now. Andrews Fulton head of the key. Far side left out of Drummond. Feeds it far block to Steers. He got tied up. And I believe the alternating possession will keep it with Coppin. Morgan's back. Oslander's off. Steers comes off. Cedric Council Jr.'s back. Hey, take one. Take five. Come on, you got two. Hey, Seth, you gotta let Morgan me. to inbound with a shot clock at 14. Lobs it in. Clayton a tough catch. Left wing behind the arc. Lost the handle. It was deflected away. Last touched by the Bears. Nine to shoot. And a timeout. Cop and State. It comes at 8.57 to go here in the opening half. Back after a brief 30-second timeout here in the Cobb State Sports Network and the MEAC Digital Network. Fifty-seven to go in the opening half. Nine seconds remaining on the shot clock for Compton State. They lead Morgan 16-15. Drummond now to inbound out of the timeout called by head coach Juan Dixon. Clayton, pardon me, now to inbound the basketball. Lobs it in to said. Gave it back to Drummond, five to shoot. Drummond, step left three is on the way, left of the rim and off. Rebound, McCray pace, now to the forecourt, head of the key, breaking down Chad Andrews Fulton, got to the rack, spun it off the back iron, no good. Loose ball on the floor, picked up by Coppin State. Here comes Clayton, got stopped by Miller, head of the key. Drummond, a touch pass to the right corner, now to Morgan. Now for Chad Andrews Fulton, facing up on McCray pace. And McCray Pace deflected it out of bounds. 14 to shoot. Clayton inbound from the baseline, defended by Martez Cameron. Bounce it off now. Chad Andrews Fulton gave it back to Clayton, poked away again by Cameron. DeWan's got it back, seven to shoot. Comes right at the screen from Andrews Fulton. Counts out of the corner with four, down to three. Gave it up to Clayton for three. Good, DeWan Clayton. His first field goal makes it a 19-15 Coppin lead. Quickly, right corner. Savannah Prince hands it back to a cutting Miller going right in the lane. Swings it back to Rawls, head of the key three. Lift the rim and off. Rebound, Chad Andrews Fulton. Shovels ahead now for Clayton. 
Head of the key on the bounce. Now turns left, pick and roll to the right. Andrews Fulton trying to bounce it down for Cedric Council Jr. Picked off by Miller. On the run out, McCray Pace lost the handle. They go to the floor for it. Finding it up to the rim is McCray Pace rimming off. Rebound Drummond and a foul. That was more frustration by McCray Pace. Missing the easy shot on the doorstep. That's his first. And we've got a timeout on the floor. 7.34 to go in the opening half. It's now Coppin State leading Morgan State. 19-15 on the Coppin State Sports Network. Fans, the Hyatt Place, Baltimore Inner Harbor, located near Fells Point, offers a refreshing blend of style and innovation in a neighborhood alive with cultural attractions, shopping, and amazing local restaurants. Hyatt Place, Baltimore Inner Harbor, the official downtown hotel, Coppin State Athletics. Coppin's got a 19-15 lead in the crosstown foe. Morgan State in the battle for Baltimore. The lead in the ball and a rebound margin of 16-9. That turnover margin starting to even up. 9-6 Coppin. Clayton's got an 18 to shoot. Gave it up to Chad Andrews. Fulton turns right. Over top of his head with a right hand. Glass and good. All five Coppin starters now in the scorebook. Make it 21-15. Eagles. Floater on the way. And it's good for Cameron. His first field goal. Give him four. Make it 21-17. Coppin by four. Less than seven to go in the half. Morgan in the catch left, coming right to the head of the key. Bouncing off high left, now to Drummond. Coming to his right, spins right to left in a lane, fights it up, rim no, but a whistle, and contact. Foul is on. Nice and Rawls, that's his first. Drummond now at the line. Puts it on the way. Rim, it popped out. Williams checking back in. He'll replace Clayton in the Coppin State lineup. Second Drummond attempt. That one's good. Tay's got six. Coppin's lead is five at 22-17. On the bounce, left corner. Going strong is Devinish Prince. Got to the doorstep and scores. He's got four. Freshman makes it a three-point Coppin advantage at 22-19. Williams now through the Chad Andrews Fulton screen into the forecourt. On the bounce, right wing behind the arc. Coming left. Kick it out left corner. Drummond wants a three. That was partially blocked by Miller. Morgan on the run back. Kick out left corner. A three ball's on the way, and that is good out of the hand of Kyson Rawls. And we are even at 22. Third tie in the opening half. Brings us down to the six-minute mark. Morgan out of Chan Andrews Fulton. We got a whistle and what? I believe 
It's a hold on Rawls. That's his second. Syfax Jr.'s back. So is Gillespie Jr. Oslander and Steers are back for Comp and State. 5.55 to go in the half, even at 22. Hey, Lamar, you get, you get 10. Morgan, baseline left, got cut off. Fights it up the right hand and scores. Morgan now with five, 24-22, Coppin. Top side left, the step-in jumper, rim it off for Devinish Prince. Tip follow is good for Miller. He's got four, we're even at 24. Williams a handoff now for Morgan, in between the rings, bouncing off high left to Council Jr. Now for Williams, head of the key. Stepping left, nifty dribbling move there. Now for Oslander, going baseline right. Shoveled it back and it got knocked away and stolen. Devinish Prince on the run back. Line to the lane, Steers found him on the way up and it's an and one situation for Morgan State as they take their first lead at 26-24. Steers picks up his second. The freshman now with six. Clayton's checking back in to replace Oslander. Five ten to go in the half. Devinish Prince puts the free throw on the way. Rim, it rattles home. The and one gives him seven. The margin now for Morgan State is three at 27-24. Williams with it, head of the key. Turns right, now hands it off to Council. Set on the bounce, hands it off to Morgan. Morgan turning right around the Council Junior screen and got fouled. Check that, it's Lamar Morgan with a foul. An offensive foul at that, his first. Brings us down to 454 remaining, opening half. 12-3, Morgan run to erase a six-point deficit. Cameron's got it now to the forecourt. Gave it up to his left now to Evanish Prince, near side left for Miller. Miller left in a lane, going strong on set. That's an offensive foul. Evanish Prince, the foul, his first, seventh on Morgan State. Each team with seven personals. Williams to inbound, looking, bouncing in now to Clayton. Dewan on the march, defended by Devinish Prince. Top side right, Steers is calling for it. He and Miller are doing battle near side of the lane. Council Jr.'s got the handle now, head of the key. Bounce it off to Steers, and he got held by Miller. That's Miller's first. If we were wrestling, that's two points for a takedown. Coach Bozeman does not agree with the foul call. Brings us to 4.17 to go, opening half, 27-24, Morgan. Leading Coppin State, Steers now line to the right. It brings Tate Drummond back to the scores table. Staggered stance for Steers, rimming off. Rebound, one by Steers. Turns, right of the lane, kicking out left side. Set a three to tie, rimming off. And a long rebound to the corner now for Devinish Prince. He'll race it back to the forecourt, top side left, coming back to his right, kicking out right corner. Cameron floats it up, glass rim no good. Battle for the rebound, pulled down by Miller. Spins left, blocked away. Morgan and Steers on the combo block. Williams a Euro step, goes left and scores. Pulls Coppin within one, 27-26. Morgan State by one, 3.45 to go in a half. Pull up off the right side by Cameron, rim it off, rebound Williams. Williams on a run back left to right. 
Right side, Morgan, a three for the lead. It's on the way, rim halfway down and out. Get back! Get back! Come on, Cameron, the rebound and outlet now to Devonish Prince. Takes it strong with the left hand and scores. He's got nine. The lead is three, 29-26. Morgan with 3.15 to go in the half. Council Jr.'s got it. Near side right, Morgan from a seated position, trying to get rid of it and lost it out of bounds. Brings us to a timeout on the floor, 3.09 to go in the opening half. It's now Morgan State leading Coppin State 29-26 in the battle for Baltimore here on the Coppin State Sports Network and the MEAC Digital Network. Out of the final media timeout of the opening half, Morgan leads Coppa 29-26. THB Bagels and Deli in Charles Village is a proud sponsor. Coppa State Basketball coming to enjoy Baltimore's hometown bagels made fresh daily. Rebound margin to Coppa at 19-14. Turnover margin 12-7 Coppa. So it's basically even. Plus five, negative five. That's zero when you net that out. Three oh nine to go in the half. Twenty-nine twenty-six. Morgan leading Coppin. And they're going to the monitor, I believe, to see if there was anything extracurricular going on. After the fact. So there was an offensive foul call, I believe. On Prince is what they're looking at. Oh, it's on the free throw. Now they're back before the free throw. Well, that looks like a lot of contact on... Devonish Prince before and after the screen, but we'll wait and see what the officials are looking at, what they end up coming up with. So at 5.55 is where the replay stands. Now they've run it forward. I would say down to the five minute mark. And there is the and one for Devonish Prince.
after all of that video replay, it remains the same. 29-26. Morgan by three at 3.09 to go. Yeah, they're double-checking who the offensive foul is on. So Coach Bozeman and Coach Dixon getting together with the officials here at the scorer's table. And all they're trying to do is correct the foul call on the offensive foul. All right, we, I got you, I got you. So now they're going to the book. So Miller picks up his second. So the foul call was changed. Now that everything's been cleared up, 3.09 to go in a half, 29-26. Morgan State leads Coppin State. Davis Jr. right to the racket, scores with the right hand. Give him five, 31-26, Morgan State. So now to the floor, court Clayton. Bounce it off now, right of the lane. Back in his way in is Nigel Marshall. Kick out left corner. Williams three, comes rimming off. Rebound to Morgan State. To Tyler Streeter. Right side three, rim it off. Out of the hand of Gillespie Jr. 2.25 to go in the half. Hoppin trails by five. Marshall, nearly uncontested, rim it off. Syfax, the rebound, out of the forecourt, into the hands of Cameron. Cameron running the jump circle. Bounce it off. Now for Davis Jr. Near side left to Cameron. Cameron, lined to the lane, shovels it off now for Davis Jr. He backs it out with eight to shoot. Left side three is on the way, that's good. Out of the hand of Tyler Streeter. That's the third bench three of the opening half. Makes it 34-26, Morgan State. And Coppin has gone ice cold right now from the floor. Right side, Marshall, right of the lane. Fights one up, rim it off. Rebound, Davis Jr. Into the forecourt, trying to turn right, taking Drummond off the bounce on the ball reversal. Picked off by Clayton, going strong with the left hand. Glass and good. Cuts the margin to 34-28, Morgan State. Head of the key on the bounce. Calling for a screen was Cameron. Get up to Davis Jr. Now back to Cameron. On the bounce right, 10 to shoot. We're under a minute to go in the first half. Cameron leans in. Back of the rim, no. Tip free and kept alive with the doorstep by Streeter. Kicks it right side now for Cameron. 15-footer, good again. 36-28, Morgan State. 45 seconds and rolling, opening half. Williams, high left to Andrews Fulton. Bounce it off now for Clayton. Clayton backs it out, 18 to shoot. Bounce it off far block, Andrews Fulton. In the lane. Glass, no good for Marshall. Shot clock turned off. Morgan can hold for one with 20 to go. And in the forecourt, Morgan State calls timeout with 15.3 to go in the half. So we'll keep it right here. Fans looking for the latest MEAC score stories and schedules? Log on to MEACsports.com to find all of your MEAC needs. And don't forget, coming up March 11th through the 16th, it's the 2019 MEAC Basketball Tournament 
in Norfolk, Virginia. So Morgan out of the timeout, leads by eight. Cameron getting final instructions from head coach Todd Bozeman. Inbound will be from the far side, opposite our broadcast location. Devin is Prince down the inbound to Cameron. Cameron to the forecourt. Nine to go. On the bounce, left of the Syfax Jr. screen, five to go. Far side to the right, fighting one up. Glass rim, it trickled off out of the hand of Rawls, and that'll do it for the opening half. Morgan State leads Coppin State 36-28 at the break. And will soon be joined by Coppin assistant coach, Charles Agamagu. Here in a mere moment. And Charles, the first question I have for you here this afternoon is Coppin opened up with a 21-15 advantage to lead by six, and then Morgan made a furious run to get the lead. Um, you know, game of runs, correct. However, it's the way they're making their runs. We told them in film that they love to push the basketball whether it's a miss or a make, right? So a matter of us getting our defense set is huge, and I feel like we weren't set, we weren't matched up as well. Now, I'll take some blame on that. I should have probably done a better job preparing them for that type of pressure. But um, game of runs, and they definitely made theirs. We've withstood it right under 10. That's good. Got to make our run in the second half as well. You have a rebounding advantage that then begins to be erased by the turnover no, margin. Absolutely. It's not in your favor. The last uh, stat sheet that I saw, we had 12 turnovers, right? Um, it doesn't stay here, but we got to take a better. Like, we just got to take better care of the basketball. You don't have scoring opportunities if you don't have the basketball, right? So the rebounding margin is to not if, if you're going to give the ball right away. We just got to take the care, better care of the basketball. Keys to the second half. Transition defense, transition defense, transition defense. We understand that this team wants to score the basketball, try and drive it to the paint. They're not really looking to hit threes like. Our game plan is to make us, is to make them, excuse me, beat us shooting threes. So in order to do that, we have to get back and have our defense set. Transition defense, man. Appreciate the time as always. Appreciate you. Thank you. There it is. Associate Head Coach Charles Agamago here at the break. When we come back, Athletic Director here at Coppin State University, Derek Carter joins us next on the Coppin State Sports Network and also the MEAC Digital Network. Coming Sunday, tomorrow, you'll get 10% off. Buffalo Wild Wings, Orlando Mills, Owings Mills, White Marsh, Maryland. People ask me why I love Blazer Rewards so much. I mean, isn't it obvious? You earn points by hanging out with friends and eating wings and watching sports. And I mean all the sports, like football, baseball, basketball. Karate, boxing, Vincent, 
This one. I don't know. Check it out. First, you join. Go to blazingrewards.com and follow the simple steps to sign up. Second, you earn. Just get off your butt and head to B-Dubs. Earn points by checking in, bringing friends, and ordering food. And finally, you redeem. Turn those hard-earned points into awesome rewards like wings, drinks, shareables, and more. Then just write your phone number on the check and rewards are deducted from your total. You can even earn points watching LARPY. <laughs> LARPY. <laughs> LARPY. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you still have time to visit the many vendors we have on the main concourse. Support those that support Coppin. We thank you. For the moment you enter the newly renovated Holiday Inn Baltimore Inner Harbor until you return home, you experience all the charms that give our hometown its charm city moniker. Hotels conveniently located three blocks from Baltimore Inner Harbor attractions and across the Baltimore Convention Center. Then one mile, guests can find the Horseshoe Casino, Hard Rock Cafe, M&T Bank Stadium home, of your Baltimore Ravens. At courtside here at the PEC, there you see a great finish going left uh, by Mr. Williams. Speaking of Mr., uh, the athletic director here at Compass State is Derek Carter. And D.C., this opening half started off all right. Compton had a six-point lead, but closing out the opening half, Morgan State 21-7. You know, uh, we played hard, but that little stretch of, what, it 21-7 you said? That's not good enough, and we're going to have to play better the second half. The transition game for Morgan got into full gear, taking advantage of those turnovers in the opening half. Yeah, Morgan did some positive things. I'm sure Coach Bozeman has worked on them uh, throughout the week. So, uh, you know, it's important for Coach Dixon to make the proper adjustments at this point. Um, again, that 20, 21-7 margin just, you know, we, we have to come out the second half quickly, close the gap, and then play a strong, strong entire half. So through eight conference games, Coppin is now 4-4. Four and four, mm -hmm. And if the MEAC tournament started today in Norfolk, Coppin would be slated arguably as the 6, Morgan would be the 8. Mm -hmm. How much of an improvement from a year ago, and, and can you see the growth in the program? Oh, certainly, certainly. We see the growth. Uh, five wins last year, four already this year. You look at the uh, remaining half of the schedule, we knocked out eight of the 16 games. So you look at the second half of the schedule, and we've gone through it game by game. They have to take it one game at a time. I unfortunately can spread it out and look at it all the way through. So there are winnable games. We go on the road next week. Hopefully we'll get this today. We're going to, we have three straight on the road, three straight winnable games. And it's a lot of parity in the conference, but we know if we play like we can, we'll do well down this, the second half of the season. Now, if we don't, if we show our inconsistent tendencies, may not be as good. But definitely there's an improvement from last year. How big was the win at home against Bethune-Cookman and the scoring level at 95-91? That was amazing, wasn't it? You know, I don't, I'm not certain that that's a good thing, but I took it because we won the game. It was exciting. It was a crazy game, an exciting game. The score was in the 70s with four to go. I know. I know. And then you see that final of 95 to, to 91. So, But that was a good game. You know, we had the two Florida schools come, and we let one get away against 
uh, Florida A&M. So it was good to bounce back and, and uh, get Bethune. So, again, it's all about the second half of the season now. And then FAMU left and went over and beat Morgan and beat by Morgan. six. Beat Morgan by six. Is, and you mentioned the parity, D.C. Is, is there a way to, to look at that and, and take anything away from that matchup and then use in the second half? Well, certainly. I mean, you look at the talent level, particularly of Bethune. I mean, they were, they were long. They were athletic. A lot of maturity because they had the junior college transfer. So you look at that game and say, okay, we can play with Bethune. You can play with anyone in the conference. And I, I, I believe everyone has that attitude. But, again, we, we have a nice blend of older players. We have a lot of younger players that by the time we get to tournament, hopefully they'll be seasoned. And, as, you know, as you say, you're no longer a freshman. So – it's all about peaking at the time that, that we can move into tournament play and really go down to Norfolk with a shot at winning it. You mentioned a freshman. This is the going off point. Two of those freshmen, one is Justin Steers, two points, two fouls at the break, and then the seven-footer, Brendan Medley-Bacon, played exactly two minutes, two minutes in the opening half and was yeah. held scoreless. Yeah. That young man, in my humble opinion, is really starting to figure it out. The game is slowing down for him. And it's seven feet, D.C. He's a nightmare matchup for other teams. No doubt about it. His 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 height, his intelligence of the game. You know, he for a freshman, he plays a pretty intelligent game. Um, he just, you can see every game, he's getting a little bit better, a little bit better, which is what we want to see. And when I mentioned earlier the maturity and being ready to peak at tournament time, he is one of the key factors of how we will perform during a tournament. Appreciate the time as always. Enjoy the second half. My pleasure. Thank you. It's Athletic Director here at Common State, Derek Carter. We're back with the second half here on the Common State Sports Network and the MEAC Digital Network. through the 16th at Scope Arena as the road to the big dance goes through Norfolk. State University means something different to everyone. Jason is a recent high school grad, attending Coppin full-time, getting his four-year degree, preparing for a lucrative career. Kimberly took time off to start a family and now attends Coppin part-time and enjoys the affordability and supportive environment. Kazim wants to change careers and finds that Coppin provides the flexibility he needs to keep working while getting that second degree. Coppin State University, something different to everyone, something special for you.
Fans, the big game is here, which means it's time to get those big game party orders in. Call B-Dubs today and reserve your time for pickup. You better hurry. Don't forget to ask about our party menu. If you pre-order this week and pick up before 3 tomorrow, you get 10% off Buffalo Wild Wings at Arundel Mills, Owings Mills, and White Marsh, Maryland. Let's go, Patriots. And by the way, the big game, Battle for Baltimore, going on right now. 36-28. Morgan the lead. Cop in the ball to start the second half. Clayton now for Andrews Fulton. Andrews Fulton on the bounce. Wants the jumper, rim it off. Hand the ball off. Rebound now for Davis Jr. Davis Jr. with it. Looking far side left. Now for Cameron. Cameron runs the show. 15 to shoot. Bounce it off high left. Devonish Prince going left to the lane. Reverse it off high left to McCray Pace. Right side Cameron to the doorstep. Blocked by Andrews Fulton. Seven to shoot. It goes out of bounds. Last touched by Morgan State. So glad you're with us. Late this afternoon, early this evening on the Common State Sports Network as well as the MEAC Digital Network here at the PEC at Common State University. Clayton with it high right. Using the Andrews Fulton screen to the head of the key. High left to Morgan. Morgan on the bounce. Left side to Drummond. Now for Council Jr. Hands it off to Drummond. Drummond left side. The jumper comes rimming off. Rebound, McCray Pace. Quick outlet now for Cameron. He wants to push. Right of the lane, right corner kick out now for Davis Jr. Head of the key, McCray Pace. Keeps the bounce alive, protects the ball, now hands it off head of the key, Devonish Prince. Right corner, Syfax Jr. Davis Jr. with it on the right side, kick it out to Syfax. Syfax kicks it out far side left, knocked away by Morgan, picked up by Cameron, three to shoot, runs it in the lane, left it well short. Morgan with the loose ball, now for Clayton. Runs it strong, lost the handle because he was fouled. Fouls on Devonish Prince. That's his first. That was the foul that was changed late in the opening half from him to Miller. Clayton. Puts it on the way. And he misses it, so Clayton trying to split a pair. Rim it off in the second one. Now for Devonish Prince. Syfax going left to the lane, got to the glass. Rim it off, we got a whistle and what? So we have an official with a foul call. Chad Andrews Fulton with the foul. It's his first. For a moment, the official was coming over. I'm thinking, the clock's at 18.05. It's good. Shot clock's at 30. I don't think there was any other malfunction going on. Syfax Jr. at the line. Puts the free throw. Rim. It spins off. Both teams have yet to tally nearly two minutes gone in the second half. Second one for Syfax Jr. on the way. Good. He split a pair. Give him four in the game. And the margin is now 37-28. Morgan State. 22-7 run by the Bears after Coppin led by six. Clayton to Cedric Council Jr. Fights it over the right hand and rattles it home. Ced's got eight, 37-30, Morgan State. Cameron, high right, split the double team, floats it up, right of the rim, no good, tipped away, and here comes Clayton with the run out. Draws three defenders, Euro step in the lane, kicking out right side, Morgan for three, back of the rim, no. Andrews Fulton, offensive rebound and follow, glass no good. And the rebound came down to McCray Pace. On the floor they go. Andrews Fulton's trying to tie it up. It comes loose to Cameron. 
Morgan's got numbers the other way. And throwing it away was Devaney Prince. Picked off by Drummond, now to the forecourt, high left. And now he backs it out. Top side left, Drummond. Going right at the council, junior screen, turns right of the lane, lost it on the way up. Davis Jr. on the run back, going one on two, right of the lane, ducks in on Andrews Fulton, glass no good. Tipped free to the weak side and scoring it is Devonish Prince. He's got 11. Margin back to nine at 39-30. 16.50 to go. Clayton on the bounce. Now for Andrews Fulton. Skip it. High left now to Council Jr. Coming back to his right. Picks up to dribble. Now faces up. Shovels it back down to Clayton. Clayton on the bounce. Backs it out. Turns right. Nearly lost the handle. Seven to shoot. Now for Drummond. Now for Cedric Council Jr. The three off the left wing. Good. Seth's got 11 as the crowd comes to life. The margin now six at 39-33 Morgan. Cameron with it. High right. Ball screen handoff. Syfax Jr. coming to his left. Crossover dribble. Line to the lane. Fights it up. Glass no. Tip free. It's going to be Devonish Prince in the lane and a whistle. What now? It's a foul, I believe, on Lamar Morgan or Drummond. Morgan with his second. Check it, second team foul, first on Morgan. Devonish Prince at the free throw line. First one's on the way, good. The freshman now with 12. 40-33 Morgan State. Second one's on the way, rim, glass, it rattled out. Seven point Bears lead. Here comes Clayton at the head of the key with 15.55 to go. Clayton turns left to the lane, going strong. Glass, good, and a foul. Syfax tried to take the charge. He's called for a block. That's his second. Makes it 40 35, and a free throw coming for Dewan Clayton, who's got seven points in the game, looking for eight at the free throw line when we come back. After this time out, the Cobb State Sports Network and the MIAC Digital Network. Fifteen fifty to go. 40-35, Morgan by five. And a DeWan Clayton free throw forthcoming. Lucy and Brownlee has checked in for the first time. For Coppin State, there's a great look at DeWan Clayton. Hey, you two got to go. Okay? Clayton trying to complete the and one, and he did just that. Clayton now with eight. 40-36, Morgan by four. Cameron, now top side left. Gave it up on the ball screen, hand off Davis Jr. Gave it up to Rawls. Top side left, Syfax Jr. Bounce it back, and it's out of bounds intended for Devonish Prince. 
Rebound margin now even at 26. The turnover, that's the 10th for Morgan State. Coppin's got 13. Little back to the table for Morgan State. He'll check in next dead ball. Clayton with it head of the key. Surveying the situation. 17 to shoot. On the bounce now for Chad Andrews Fulton. Skip pass near side left. Brownlee, left corner Clayton for three off the glass, no good. Set one offensive rebound, fights it up, glass no tip, followed by Andrews Fulton. That's good. 40, 38, Coppin back within two. Five minutes gone in the second half. Cameron lined in a lane, kick it out right corner, three ball answer, good. Rawls now with six. 43, 38, Morgan by five. 14.45 to go. Clayton out of the forecourt. On the bounce high right, now to Council Jr. High left now to Morgan, coming to his right. Now to Clayton Jr. Excuse me. Dewan Clayton on the right side, got bumped off. And before the bump, moving screen. Chad Andrews Fulton, that's his second. Here comes Little. Steers is coming to get Chad Andrews Fulton. Davis Jr. now for Cameron. Cameron top side left. Penetration left of the lane. Reverse it off head of the key. Step right jumper on the way. That's going to be a foul on the attempt by Rawls. Lamar Morgan just picked up his second personal foul. Rawls at the free throw line. Puts it on the way. Rim. It rattled out. Second one's on the way. Good. Rawls split a pair. Give him seven. 44-38, Morgan, 14-15 to go. Clayton with it, head of the key. Right side out of Steers. Got bumped into by Devonish Prince, and then on the post-entry feed, the ball got knocked out of bounds. Oslander's back for Coppin State. Morgan's going to take a seat with 14.08 to go. Clayton inbound from the baseline. Right corner, Brownlee for three. Rim across the iron, no. Steers trying to track it down, he does. Fights it up from 10, blocked away by Little. On the run back, Rawls. Head of the key now, Cameron. Right side three on the way, rim it off for Rawls. Oslander the rebound on the run back. Swings it, high left now. Brownlee wants it three, it's on the way, rim it off. And last touch by Jordan Little, and it goes out of bounds. Chad Andrews Fulton checking back in. Steers will check out. Little's checking out. Here comes McCray Pace for Morgan State. 13-38 to go. Coppin down by six, 44-38. Inbound comes to Brownlee, lob it back to Oslander. Oslander bounce it off high left. Clayton coming to his right, spins left. Nifty move, glass rim no. Rebound to Rawls, he'll quickly sprint it to the forecourt. Left at a lane, going strong, Oslander and Seth both got a piece of it. Rawls ends up on the deck. It stays with the Bears with 25 to shoot. Cameron on the lob. Now for Davis Jr. Takes it left in a lane, fights it up, rim it off. Battle for the rebound. Cedric Council Jr. wins it. Bouncing off down to Clayton. Dewan across the time, striping to the forecourt. Headed the key, nearly lost the handle. 
Picks it back up. Now for Chad Andrews Fulton. Catch and fire three. Good. 44-41. Morgan State by three. 12.50 to go. Cameron stripped and stolen by Clayton. Clayton on the run out. Going strong. Poked away and out of bounds. Last touch by Cameron. Cop and Nation coming to their feet, wanting a foul call right there. Syfax trying to get back in the game. Here he comes to replace McCray Pace. Williams sprinting to the scorer's table. He'll check in and replace Clayton. Here comes Miller back on. He'll replace Stanley Davis Jr. ahead of the under 12 media timeout. Williams on the inbound, now for Brownlee. Feeds it off left of the lane now for Chad Andrews Fulton. Left side Brownlee, back to Chad, head of the key. Right side Williams, a three is on the way. High off the rim, no. Tipped in the air by Council Jr. Miller comes away with it for Morgan State. Miller on the run, left of the lane, goes strong with left-handed, scores. Coast to coast for Miller. 46-41, Morgan State, 12-15 to go. Williams out of Andrews Fulton, shoves it back to Brownlee, wants a three, rim glass and off. Chad had it and lost it, he wants a foul. Cameron with it, far side up to Miller, Euro step in the lane, swatted by Council Jr. They still battle, Syfax comes away with it. Ball squirts free, right corner kick out Devonish Prince, he'll reset it, head of the key now for Rawls. Back to Devonish Prince, he'll back it out. Shot clock to 17. High left now for Cameron. Cameron, 10 to shoot. Bouncing off head of the key. Rawls going left. Skip pass far side left. Miller runs baseline left. Turn around. Andrews Fulton block it. Cedric Council swats it away. They call a tie-up. And the dual possession keeps it with Morgan with two to shoot when we come back. 11-33 to go. It's now Morgan leading Coppin. 46-41 in the battle for Baltimore on the Coppa State Sports Network and MIAC Digital Network. Replay Miller with the penetration. There's the first block. There's the second block. And one of the officials called a dual possession. Two to shoot with 11:33 to go. Coppin's got four steals in this game. Morgan State's got eight. Rebound margin. Coppin by one. Turnover margin. Coppin minus four. 46-41. Morgan State by five. Miller to inbound. Now we're going to get two of the officials going in because we have a sea of humanity at the right elbow. Yo, Chad, and Chad. Look up everything. And the officials have done a great job keeping a very heated contest in the battle for Baltimore. Very much even, if you will, even tempered. Lob comes in at Syfax, turn around jumper, glass rim no. Council Jr. the rebound now for Clayton. Clayton through the Andrews Fulton screen, top side left. Going strong on Syfax, left it short and got fouled. Syfax Jr. over to the official to get a clarification. Hey. 
So that's his third. The junior out of Detroit sends the Bowie Maryland product to the line and Clayton can't connect on the front end of two. Davis Jr. replaces Syfax Jr. That's five points in the first half, replacing four points total in the game. Clayton trying to split a pair. And he does. DeWan's got nine. 46-42. Morgan by four. 11.15 to go. On the bounce, Davis Jr. High right, 15 to shoot. Dribbles it right corner. Now reverse it off head of the key. Now for Gillespie Jr. In the lane, trying to turn right as Miller. Ball came free. Cedric Council Jr.'s got it. Looking for an outlet. Sid says very calmly, I got it. Hands it off to Clayton in the forecourt, defended by Devonish Prince. Clayton headed the key with 18 to shoot. He's got Morgan on his right wing. Lobs it down to Andrews Fulton for Morgan. Chad with nine to shoot, now to set. Left corner kick out, Oslander for three, rimming off. Rebound to Davis Jr. Under 10 and a half to go, Morgan by four. Line lane, the freshman Devonish Prince draws contact. And has free throws coming. Oslander the foul. That's his second. First free throw is good for Devonish Prince, giving 13, 47, 42, Morgan. Rim and off on the second attempt. Devonish Prince got his own miss back, keeping a five-point march and said with an emphatic block on the drive by Davis Jr., but contact on the body against Big Sed. That's his first. Check that, his second. So now Stanley Davis Jr. out of Chester, Pennsylvania. Puts it on the way, good. Give him six, 48-42, Morgan State. 10-16 to go. Drummond has come back for Coppin State. Second Davis Jr. attempt, rim, it popped out. Six point Morgan, lead it 48-42. Drummond, high right, now for Council Jr. Hands it off to Clayton. Coming left of the screen from Cedric Council Jr. Clayton left of the lane, skipping far right corner to Drummond. He wants a three, it's on the way, good. Drummond second three, give him nine total points, and the margin is now 48-45, Morgan State. 9.44 to go. Left side answer, triple try. That's good for the senior Gillespie, his second three in the game. 51-45, how about seven emphatic dunks? Give him 13. 51-47, right side three, back of the rim, no. Rebound to Andrews Fulton. Over the top for Clayton. 
Clayton on a run, left in the lane, skip it right side to Morgan. Step left three is on the way. Good. Lamar Morgan. He's got eight. Popping it in one down 51-50. Nine minutes to go. High left feed now to Davis Jr. and the PEC is rocking. Head of the key. Cameron with a catch. Gave it up near side left. Gillespie. Now to the far left corner. Back to Cameron. And a reach-in foul against Coppin with eight to shoot. It's on Chad Andrews Fulton. That's his third. It sends Miller to the line. Coppin already over the limit of 17 fouls. Front end on the way, rim it off. Weak side rebound to Drummond. Coppin a chance for the lead on any make on this trip down the floor. Drummond now for Council Jr. Holding belt high. Now on the bounce, gave it back to Drummond. 15 to shoot. Drummond going right. Gave it back to his right to Clayton. Now to Sed. Back out of the key to Morgan. Put it behind his back with seven to shoot. Left corner kick to Drummond for three. Rim it off. Davis Jr. the rebound now for Morgan State. Gave it up to Cameron. Cameron kick it out far side left. Miller's got it. Now headed the key to Cameron. Cameron on the bounce. Right side. Ball screen hand off. Back to Gillespie Jr. Now headed the key. Top side left now for Miller. Tried to bounce it down. That falls off his leg and out of bounds. Coppin gets it back on the other side of the timeout. 7.57 to go. Morgan State leads Coppin State. 51-50 in the battle for Baltimore on the Coppin State Sports Network and the MEAC Digital Network. for our student athletes isn't just measured by wins and losses, points on the scoreboard, or individual stats. It's also measured by their performance in the classroom, in the community, and ultimately graduation. Our student athletes aren't just playing to win a single game. They're playing to win at life. Because games end, but life keeps on going. The MIAC, educating student athletes for the game of life. Back of the PEC, 7.57 to go. 51-50, Morgan leading Coppin. Rebound margin even at 36. Turnovers, 15-13, Coppin. Inbound to Clayton. High right to Drummond. Now for Council Jr. Near side left to Clayton. Coming right at the screen from Council Jr. Now left. Bouncing off the set, right hand floater, rim it off, battle for the rebound. And Devonis Prince comes away with it for Morgan State. Runs it quickly ahead of the key. Right side Cameron, step in, jumper, good. Cameron now with eight. 53-50, Morgan State. 7.26 to go. Clayton, high left to Morgan. Deep three is on the way, good Lamar Morgan, and we are tied at 53. Morgan now with 11. He let it fly from the Inner Harbor. Bouncing off high right. Now Syfax. A handoff to Devonish Prince out of the corner. Back of the rim, no, but a whistle and contact. Chad Andrews Fulton just picked up his fourth. Eighth Coppin team foul. Even at 53 on the fifth 
tie in this game. Number five, Prince. We've had one lead change. Free throws good for Devonish Prince. He's got 14. 54-53, Morgan State again regains the lead. Here comes Steers to replace Chad Andrews Fulton. Lead change happened at 27-24 in the opening half for Morgan State. Second free throw for the freshman is on the way good. He's got 15. 55-53, Morgan by two, closing in on seven minutes to go. Morgan comes to a screeching halt, head of the key on that catch. Now for Cedric Council Jr., ball screen hand off back to Clayton. Clayton turns right, stays behind the arc with 13 to shoot. Clayton on the bounce, turns left, Syfax bumped him off. That's his fourth. On the lob, it comes to Cedric Council, Jr. Hands it off now for Council. Excuse me, Council hands off to Clayton. Clayton coming right at the Council screen. Back to Sed, going strong with the left. Left it short, steers an offensive rebound. Trying to fight it up in traffic, he got fouled. I thought Sed got clocked to begin with. That foul's on Rawls, that's his third. Steers, the first of two, rim, it trickled off. It did everything but go in. Second one's good. Steers split a pair, give him three, 55-54, Morgan by one. On the bounce high right, Devonish Prince, back head of the key. Miller thought about a three, keeps the bounce alive, turns left, ball screen hand out out of Cameron. Back left side now to Miller. Free throw line face up for Davis is good. He's got eight. 57-54, Morgan closing in on six minutes to go. Clayton on the bounce, head of the key. Right side, Morgan, step back three, good again. Even at 57 with five, 53 to go. Line lane, Davis Jr., count it, the foul. Davis Jr. now with 10, looking for 11 at the free throw line. Fouls on Steers, that's his third. 59-57, Morgan State. That free throw, rim it off, rebound Steers. 59-57, Morgan, 5-43 to go. Clayton trying to turn left, got cut off by Miller. Nearly lost the handle. Clayton gets it back, coming to his right. Clayton coming to his left, line to the lane, got hand checked. Cameron with his second. Check that, Miller with his third. Brendan Medley Bacon, seven footer, played two minutes in the opening half. He's back with five and a half to go. Coppin down two, five and a half remaining. Drummond on the inbound now for Clayton. Clayton, left of the lane, fights it up, glass no, tip follow is good, and we're tied at 59. Clayton with 11. 
Cameron to the forecourt. Now head of the key. Davis nearly lost the handle. Devaney Prince hands it back now to Cameron, head of the key. Right side, Devaney Prince, 18 to shoot. The freshman comes back to his left, defended by Clayton. Now high right, he gave it up to Davis Jr. Davis Jr. swings it left to the lane, Cameron. Blocked by Cedric Council Jr. Now for Rawls. Swings it back to the right side, 15-footer. Rim it off. Out of the hand of Cameron. Here comes Clayton with it. 4.50 to go. Even at 59. On the bounce, Clayton nearly had it stripped away. They go to the floor, and we got a tie-up, I believe. And the arrow keeps it with Coppin with 19 to shoot. As all 10 players on the floor converged for the ball. Four forty-four to go. Oslander now to inbound from the baseline. Coppin a chance to reclaim the lead. It would be their first since 24-22. DeJuan Clayton's got the bounce high right. 13 to shoot. Clayton trying to spin to his left. Cut off by Cameron. Medley Bacon on a pick and roll. Kick out left corner. The three is on the way. Good out of the left corner. Kent Oslander. 62-59 Coppin. 4.25 to go. Kick out to the right corner. Rawls with it. Now headed to key. Devinish Prince turns left to the lane. Got to the doorstep. Rimming off. Medley Bacon had the rebound. Lost it. Davis Jr. turns left. Feeds it back door to Miller. Glass rim. No good. Tip three to the head of the key. Rawls a three to tie. Yes, he did. Rawls now with 10. Even at 62. 3.53 to go. Morgan on the bounce, turns the official and calls timeout. 3.48 to go, even at 62 in the battle of Baltimore on the Common State Sports Network and the MEAC Digital Network. Out of immediate timeout, Maryland Eastern Shore leads South Carolina State 47-40 in the second half. Bethune-Cookman leading North Carolina Central 32-23. Dell State, Savannah State even at 41 coming down the stretch. FAMU early second half leads North Carolina A&T 29-19. And Howard leads it home over Norfolk State 42-27. How about this kick out to the corner for Kent Oslander and that three ball to tie at Excuse me, make it 62-59. Coppin with the lead, now even at 62. 3.45 to go. Clayton with the handle around the Cedric Council Jr. screen. Clayton to the doorstep, lost it on the way by, knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Morgan State. That will bring us to a timeout on the floor. 3.41 to go. 62 all in the Battle of Baltimore on the Common State Sports Network and the MEAC Digital Network.
Fans, from the moment you enter the newly renovated Holiday Inn Baltimore Inner Harbor until you return home, you experience all the charms to give our hometown its Charm City moniker. The hotel conveniently located three blocks from Baltimore's Inner Harbor attractions. It's across the Baltimore Convention Center. Within one mile, guests can find the Horseshoe Casino, Hard Rock Cafe, M&T Bank Stadium. Of course, it's the home of the Baltimore Ravens. 62 all, 341 to go between Coffin and Morgan in the Battle of Baltimore. 14 to shoot for the Eagles. Morgan to inbound from the baseline. Looking, lobs it in. Now Clayton, far side of the lane. Skip pass to Oslander. Once another three, good again. Oslander makes it 65-62, Coppin. Kent's got two threes, both in the second half, and they're huge. Syfax to the rim, count it in a foul. Syfax now with six. Fouls on Cedric Council, Jr. No! 65-64 with a free throw coming. Set his first personal foul. It comes at an inopportune time. 3.22 to go. Syfax to tie, give him seven, and we are knotted at 65. Clayton with the bounce, now to the forecourt. Now for Andrews Fulton, head of the key, looking. Oh, he might have dragged the pivot foot. Hands it off to Clayton. Clayton with 15 to shoot, going right of the lane, ducks in on Syfax, glass rim, no, but a whistle and a foul. And Syfax, if it's his personal foul, he is fouled out. Indeed he has. 3.05 to go, and the 6'7 junior will finish with seven points on the day. Clayton at the line. Even at 65. First one's good. 66-65 Coppin. And a timeout, Morgan State. 3.05 to go. Dewan Clayton trying to finish off two free throws when we come back after this 60-second timeout on the Common State Sports Network and the MEAC Digital Network. Scope Arena in Norfolk, Virginia. It's six days of non-stop action as your favorite MEAC men's and women's basketball teams battle it out on the court for the right to play in the big dance. Get your tickets today at MEACHoops.com. Member institutions and Ticketmaster. March 11th through the 16th at Scope Arena as the road to the big dance. Out of the call timeout by Morgan, a great look at Ken Oslander out of that corner. That's his favorite spot. Bottoming it out that three. 66-65. Coppin State with Clayton at the line. That three, not in the game, it's 65. Clayton has given Coppin a one-point lead with 3.05 to go. Make it a two-point lead. DeWan now with 13. 67-65 Coppin, closing in on three minutes to go. Cameron, high right. Gave it up now between the rings to Davis Jr. Davis Jr. on the bounce, 18 to shoot. Step left, 15 footer on the way, rim it off, rebound Oslander. Looking for an outlet, now he'll dribble. Now to the four, court across the time stripe. On the bounce, right of the lane, spins back to his left, glass and good! Oslander with eight, 69-65. 
Right side penetration. Devonish Price now head of the key. Excuse me, Prince with it. Far side left, three ball. Rimming off out of the hand of Gillespie Jr. Last touched by Morgan State as it goes out of bounds. Big Red just went big three to tie. And a spin move for two. 69-65. Coppin by four, closing in on 2-10 to go. Andrews Fulton. Now for Clayton between the rings. Clayton on the bounce. Trying to shake his defender. Step back three, back of the rim, no good. And the rebound to Davis Jr. Swing it right corner. Now in the hands of Gillespie Jr. Skip it high left now for Rawls. Back to the near side right. Cameron in the lane, swings it back far side left to Rawls. He wants a three, rim it off. Rebound Oslander, lost the handle. Loose ball on the floor. And it's picked up by Morgan State, fighting it up to the underside of the glass. No, Devinish Prince is fouled. 97 seconds to go. They say, pardon me, Coppin last to touch it as it went out of bounds. There was that whistle and a hand in the air. Bounce comes in. Left side, Davis Jr. from 15, rim it off. Clayton a rebound. Clayton out of the forecourt, defended by Cameron. 18 to shoot, Coppin by four, 69-65 to PEC, coming to life again. Lob high right to Council Jr. on the catch. Back to Clayton, nine to shoot. Clayton turning head of the key, draws a double team. Now for Andrews Fulton, head of the key with four, down to three, runs right of the lane, fights it up. It's over the top of the backboard, out of bounds with one to shoot. 64 seconds to go. And I believe Coppin wants a timeout. They do. Coppin by four at 69-65. Back after a 30-second timeout on the Coppin State Sports Network and the MIAC Digital Network. Real quick look at Ken Oslander coming across the time stripe after that rebound. Uses that said screen going left to right. Here's the spin move. Big finish there. 69-65 Coppin. One to shoot. Oslander on the lob in the lane. Clayton catches. Fires. Got it away. Back of the rim. No good. Rebound Davis Jr. Under a minute to go. Here comes Cameron. Kicking out right side. Penetration by Devaney Prince. Got to the rim. Left it short. Cedric Council over the top. Now for Morgan. Dribbles out right side, trying to burn the clock. Draws a double team and got tied up by Rawls. They both go to the floor. Morgan's not giving up the ball. Oslander got bumped off in the hip. And everybody's going to get separated. Morgan now up off the floor. Cooler heads will prevail. The officials down on the knee to protect everybody. Juan Dixon wants the official to go to the monitor. Most likely they will. Both teams are going to head to their respective benches. 44.6 to go, 23 to shoot. That's the first real skirmish we've had tonight in the Battle of Baltimore. Of course it was. Late game situation. They're both battling for the ball. Everybody into the pile. And now the officials are going to go sort it out. There's the shove. I'll be honest with you. I don't think that's enough to generate a technical foul. And indeed, the official said, nope, that's not enough. I'm with you. That's a heated battle. Just a little nudge instead of a two-handed... 
wrestling kind of shove. Uh oh, it's getting serious. Coach Dixon just took the suit coat off. 44.6 to go. 23 to shoot. And on the alternating possession, the arrow, I believe, gave it back to Morgan State. So now Coppin will have to play defense. The officials confirm it is Morgan State basketball. Cameron to roll it in. Devonish. Prince picks it up. Now to the forecourt. 69-65 Coppin. He got to the doorstep, fights it up, and scores. Devonish Prince now with 17. Timeout, Morgan State. 69-67 Coppin. 38.2 to go. Back at 30 on the Coppin State Sports Network and the MIAC Digital Network. Out of the Morgan State timeout, stay social with your favorite conference. Search MEAC Sports on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube for day-to-day -day updates on everything MEAC. Also use hashtags IBAC to MEAC and MEAC Nation to see your post reposted. 69-67, Coppin by two. Coppin's already in the double bonus, having committed 10 team fouls. Morgan at seven team fouls. Oslander to inbound with 38.2 to go. Gets it into Clayton. Clayton defended by Cameron. In the backcourt. Now coming across the time strip into the forecourt. 22 to shoot. Clayton runs it right on the lane. Glass good and a foul to Juan Clayton. Give him 15. 71. 67. Coppin with a free throw coming. Foul is on Rawls. That's his fourth. Drum into the scorer's table. Lamar Morgan checks out as Drummond checks back in. Gillespie checking out his favorite spot in the left-hand corner. Clayton's free throw, good. He's got 16. 72-67, Coppin. Right corner, kick to Rawls, turns left to the head of the key, swings it off. Devin is Prince, got to the doorstep, and he got fouled. 18.6 to go. Drummond the foul, that's his second. Here comes Lamar Morgan, back to the table. Morgan trying to extend the final 18.6 as long as they can. First one on the way, good. Devin is Prince now with 18. Makes it 72-68. Devin is Prince a career high of 22 on December 29th. He's closing in on matching that right now. Both free throws good, give him 19. 72-69, Coppin off the inbound, Oslander to Clayton, immediately fouled by Cameron. So the long walk down to the other end of the floor with 17.5 to go. Cameron his second, Morgan now at nine team fouls. Chad Andrews Fulton on the block. Clayton's free throw, back of the rim, no. Rebound came down to Cameron. Cameron on the run out, right corner, rolls, launches, right of the rim, no. Offensive follow by Davis Jr., rim off, rebound Morgan, covers up with 6.4, and he's fouled. The 
The foul is on Gillespie Jr. That's his first. Morgan now their 10th team foul, so Coppins in the double bonus. Lamar Morgan at the free throw line. Trying to put this one away, up 72-69. First one's on the way, good. Morgan with 15. 73-69, Coppin. Second one on the way. Rimming off. Rebound Andrews Fulton. Right side. And did he travel? Yes. 4.6 to go. 73-69 Coppin. The reason Chad walked, he thought he was being fouled. Davis Jr. to inbound. Drummond's back. Andrews Fulton will check out. He's got Devonish Prince in the backcourt with him. Coppin is going to press this inbound. Inbound comes to Cameron to the forecourt. Line, lane, right-hand runner is good. Cameron now with 10, 73-71. Oslander's fouled with .3 to go. And the official says the clock ran out. Final score for the first time. Coppin State defeats Morgan State, 73 71 in the Battle of Baltimore. With the win, Coppin now to 5 and 19, 5 and 4 in the MEAC. With the loss, Morgan now 8 and 14, 3 and 6 in the MEAC. And with Coppin scoring more than 70 points, get a free traditional snack win with a minimum purchase of $10. Following restrictions apply, food purchase only. Alcohol and tax not included must present the Morgan State game ticket stub or the original 70-point promotion coupon and coupon ID. One coupon per visit, no cash value. Valid at the Buffalo Wild Wings at White Marsh, Toronto Mills, and Owings Mills. Offer expires February 3rd, 2019. That is a huge win for Coppin State here in the MEAC. And we'll pause for the Coppin State alma mater before being joined by head coach Juan Dixon.
So that's Gary Williams, public address announcer here at the PEC, joined now by head coach Juan Dixon. Coach, over the last couple of years doing these games with you, your time here at Coppin, is that the biggest win? Yeah, it's a big win. I mean, anytime you can beat our end state rival, a great environment tonight. The fans were unbelievable on both sides. Coach Bowles got those, those kids playing hard. And in the first half, you know, they were the aggressors. And in the second half, we wanted to match their energy. Uh, but it should have been the other way around. Uh, but we competed in the second half. We defended the way we are supposed to guard. Uh, we held them a 30% shooting in the second half. And our guys were tough down the stretch. Um, and, we, you know, we played through some mistakes. But I'm extremely proud of our guys. Dewan Clayton willed us the victory, attacking the basket. I mean, the kid had eight assists, two turnovers. Extremely unselfish. He's learning how to play. He's trusting his teammates. And it's a big win for us, not because it's Morgan State, because it allow us to get on a two-game winning streak. We got a week off, and we hit to South Carolina next week. Coach, I got to ask you, 425 to go. The game is even at 59, and a big three to put you up for good at 62-59. Hey, man, Ken Oslan, I can't say enough about, enough about him. His consistency in practice, his consistency with his habits off the floor, uh, when it comes to him getting in routine every day, I mean, our seniors are unbelievable, unbelievable. And hopefully Dewan and Tay will be rising juniors next year. They're learning with the effort all right, and the intensity that our seniors are playing with. But this is a huge win. I, we really appreciate everyone coming out to support today. I want to break down two more numbers and then get to Dewan Clayton here for just a second. 7 of 14 from 3 yeah. for Morgan. Were you aware 12 of 30 from 3 and it was huge in the second half? No, not at all. But I wanted to shoot threes. If we have open opportunities, I want our guys to shoot them with confidence from Eben Williams, from Dewan Clayton, all the way up to the big fella, Brendan Medley Bacon. We want everyone because, you know, it's so much bigger than Coppin State and the MEAC for our student athletes. You know, we want to prepare them for life. And these guys want to play professional basketball. So our job is to put them in, in that light and teach them how to play at a high level on both ends. Appreciate the time. Great Thanks, win. Man. There it is. Head coach, that is Juan Dixon, now joined by Dewan Clayton here in mere moments. Had some huge shots in the entire game and then knocks down those critical free throws as well down the stretch. Dewan, i got to ask you, how big is this game and this win in the Battle of Baltimore today? It's a big win. Uh, it's definitely the biggest game of our uh, regular season, so we just wanted to come out here and play hard, get the win. You're down at the break by eight after Morgan had that huge run of 21-7. What was the message in the locker room at the break? Uh, we knew they were going to go in there and run because uh, they wanted to come out and play hard. We just had to withstand it, uh, come out in the second half, play D throughout the whole possession, uh, get in transition. So there's a big skip when Ken hit the first three out of the corner. How would you find him for the second one? Um, they put me in the low post. And I know they're going to focus on me, so I saw him on the weak side wide open and made the pass. How much confidence do you have with your guys to make those big shots as well? Very much. Very, a lot of confidence. Now you got a week off. You're heading down south as well. What's your expectation now? Two-game winning streak, over 500 in the MEAC, coming down the stretch, getting ready for Norfolk. Yeah, I know Norfolk's going to come out hard. Um, we got a, a road stretch. Um, we, sometimes we play better on the road, so that's kind of good for us. But we just want to come out and play hard. Appreciate the time. Congratulations on a huge win. Thank you. There it is. Dewan Clayton, he had 16 today for Coppin State. Always appreciate his time as well. Ken Oslander with the eight off the Coppin State bench. And in the Battle of Baltimore today, it is Coppin 73-71. Thank you so much for watching and listening on the Coppin State Sports Network and the MEAC Digital Network.